Basra, in his martyrdom, he has virtually become a new saint for Iraq's Shiites. His poster adorns shop windows, men and women wear his image as badges. Poems praise his valor. His sniper's rifle, with which he's said to have killed nearly 400 Islamic State group militants, is now enshrined in a museum in the holiest Shiite city. Ali Jayad al Salhi, an expert sniper in his early 60s and veteran of multiple wars, was killed in September in clashes with IS in northern Iraq. He then was vaulted into legend. Shiites around Iraq trade stories of how, out of piety, he left his home, wife, ten children and twenty grandchildren to join a Shiite militia to fight in what he saw as a war between humanity and evil. al Salhi is a powerful symbol in the religious, near-Messianic mystique that has grown up around Iraq's Shiite militias in tandem with their increasing political and military might after they helped defeat the Islamic State group. Known as the Popular Mobilization Forces, or hashed in Arabic, the militias have emerged from the war with the image of an almost holy force protecting the Shiite Muslim majority. That popular aura helps enshrine the Hasht as a major player in post is Iraq. It's a stark contrast to how the Sunni Muslim minority views the fighters. The Hasht controls significant areas in northern and western Iraq seized back from IS, and they are accused of abuses against the Sunni population. Sunnis see the militias as a tool for Shiite powerhouse Iran to dominate Iraq. The war against the Islamic State group left a divided legacy in Iraq. The Sunni community has been shattered, its cities wrecked, its population scattered and unsure of their future, with some three million people uprooted and mostly languishing in camps. Meanwhile, Shiites are riding on victory, having defeated a fanatical group that targeted their sect as heretics. Many Shiites trumpet the Hasht militias as the champions bringing their community out of centuries of oppression and embodying a belief central to Shiism that victory will come from martyrdom. The militiamen are seen as the successors to one of the faith's most revered figures, Imam Hussein, a grandson of the Prophet Muhammad who was killed in the 7th century by rival Muslims at Karbala, in what is now southern Iraq, in a battle that led to the Sunni-Shiite split. Some even speak of the Hesht in apocalyptic terms, linking it to Imam Mahdi, a Shiite religious leader said to have vanished 1,100 years ago and expected to return, leading an army of the faithful to defeat evil in the world. The Hesht, supporters say, will be that army. When the time comes for the reappearance of Imam Mahdi, we will be ready and honored to be among his soldiers, Sajid al mubarka head of the Hesht's indoctrination department told the Associated Press at his Baghdad office. He dismissed criticism that such talk emphasizes the sectarian nature of the force. What harm could come from invoking the name of Imam Mahdi? He said. What harm could come if we are inspired by the sacrifice of Imam Hussein? The Hasht emerged out of a call in June 2014 by Iraq's top Shiite cleric, Grand Ayatollah Ali al-Sistani, for volunteers to join jihad against IS militants, who had overrun the northern city of Mosul and swept nearly to Baghdad and Shiite shrines farther south as the military and security forces collapsed.